Hi there. During this session, I will be talking about and explaining the electromotive force and internal resistance, two features of a, a battery, but power supplies in general. Okay. So first of all, electromotive force or EMF. The EMF is another feature measured in volts. Okay, another voltage, so to speak. The electromotive force EMF describes how much energy is being transferred from the battery to the circuit per unit charge. So therefore, again, measured in, in volts. It's how much energy is being provided. Um, thinking about it, um, how much energy is, oh, I guess, um, to accelerate those electrons from the positive to the negative terminals. How much energy is going in? Next step, okay, another voltage. And this is the terminal potential difference. So what happens with the terminal potential difference is that if I put a voltmeter across either terminal, then it will tell me how big or how much um, voltage is between those two points. Now it's not constant. It all depends on how much current is being drawn. Okay, So there's a feature here that it depends on how much current. So the larger the current drawn, the lower the terminal potential difference. So the larger the current drawn, the lower the terminal potential difference. So just think about that for a minute. So I've got two things here. Um, you may be thinking, surely they're the same thing. What we're talking about here is the amount of energy going into the circuit and then the amount of energy being measured um, going into the circuit on either side of the battery. Good point there. But actually they are different. Now, the reason that the EMF and terminal potential difference are different is because there's this thing called the internal resistance of a power supply. Now, this internal resistance means that although a certain amount of energy is being provided, the internal resistance causes some of that energy to be wasted inside the power supply itself. This is actually why batteries end up getting hotter and hotter and hotter. That heating up is an example of that energy being wasted. So not all the electromotive uh, force, not all that voltage is converted into the terminal PD. They're slightly different values, and that's kind of crucial. Now, with them being slightly different values, um, we can try and work these values out. We can do some calculations. So this relationship between the voltages, we recognize that the electromotive force is the amount of energy being supplied minus <coughs> the current times the internal resistance. So minus the amount of energy being wasted due to um, heating up being one of the features here. Now, this relationship is kind of useful because we can see clearly that if the current is zero, that means I can just put a voltmeter across a battery, assuming that no current or very, very little current is being actually drawn, um, I can measure the EMF directly. As long as there's no current, I can measure the EMF, and that on that occasion, the EMF will be the same as the terminal PD. But as the current changes, increases or decreases, so does the terminal PD. Now, this relationship is probably, I think, is easier to understand graphically. Okay, so let's think about it graphically. If I have my terminal voltage is equal to my electromotive force minus the current times resistance. Now I'm just going to rearrange this slightly so it looks more like the y equals mx plus c uh, formula which you should recognize. So voltage terminal is equal to minus the internal resistance times the current plus the electromotive force. So what we see here is a couple of things. First of all, this line has a negative gradient. That comes from the minus internal resistance. At current equals zero, that intercept there will be equal to the electromotive force. Okay, so I'm just doing a, a graph of terminal potential difference against current. And when the current is zero, then that intercept gives me the electromotive force as I've already mentioned. So that's the relationship between some more types of voltages, terminal PD, 
electromagnetic force and the difference is caused by the internal resistance within the battery itself.